Hey Don guys, here for a short Supercoach update there. 1344, the last few weeks we've hardly changed. We've gone up or down about 20 to, to 15 ranks here. 14, we move up with a 1344. And it was pretty solid across the board, to be fair. We'll jump in and, and have check that all out now from last week. So let's get into our game day as well while we're there. So we end up winning our semi-final, which is good. So I'm only in the one head-to-head, -head, guys, and uh, just in a random league. So... Yeah, managed to win that one, which was nice. And uh, yeah, very comfortably there. 11.60 for the other fella there. But in my squad, I end up getting Malatalo as my AE. Didn't set things up perfectly right with um, yeah, not knowing that Brian Toto was going to be out. So uh, yeah, just didn't work out well. And, and uh, yeah, worked out. Ended up working out okay with the 58 for the AE. Um, and we left Toho Harris on the bench again. Just wild. And you yeah, watch this week. We have to play him with Murray being out. And he's not going to score a try this week. No chance. Uh, then Horsburgh with the 70. So I played Tarpany over, over Horsburgh in the end, and both of them did well. Um, so, yeah, two good scores again left on the bench. And very unfortunate. My Both my 5'8", who are meant to be my sort of X-Factor type of guys in, in Munster and, and Cody Walker, are both really struggling at the moment, unfortunately, to, to score great, especially Cody. And it's not what we expected at all. Like, I, you know, held him through Origin, and he looked amazing, and... The Souths just haven't been playing too well at all, unfortunately. So, yeah, looking looking forward to, to this coming week. There, there was some decent scores there. It looks like I'm not going to be missing too many players. I do have Cody Walker out, obviously, uh, with Cam Murray. But Brian To'o comes in, uh, which is going to be nice. And then to Tohu Harris will, will come into that as well for our grand final in this head-to-head. -head. We're getting to... Um, yeah, get into a bunch of leagues next year. So if you're interested in that, um, obviously get into that in the, in the preseason there. So I've set up the squad accordingly. We've got Harry Grant, thankfully, still playing there in this one. We've got Fanua Blake, Tarpanet, and then Horsbro is going to be played this week. For Fita Hopgood, Tohu Harris with, with Cam Murray on the bench. Uh, Couchman and Lovett are out of the squad. So yeah, we need to make sure that those three play. And then we've got Cleary and Hines. And captaincy this week is going to be a little bit interesting as well. So we'll... Uh, We'll get into that as well. But I think, you know, Cleary's going to, should be able to have a, a good week here against the Eels. He, he naturally doesn't score super well against Parramatta, but they are obviously missing, yeah, Moses, and they're just not playing great at the moment. So I think Panthers can really dominate this week, and then they'll potentially do some restings next week. But yeah, Walker's out, so Munster will be my sole 5'8". Thankfully, Toto's back, so we'll go Toto, Gagai, Manu, Mazu. And then Ronaldo. So this is good there. We've got the full 17 with Ponga and Asako to finish things out. So I'd imagine this week we'll, we should be able to perform pretty well with a lot of guys having the mixture of, you know, either Latrell and, and Murray or Cody Walker and, and Latrell or, you know, it's some mixture of the two or potentially the three with a few other guys out and potentially a lack of trades. I, I feel like I should be able to make some ranks this week, but we'll see how we go. Um, yeah, obviously no trades to to make there and you know if you're if you're sitting there with a few trades to go and you need to make some moves for you know Garrick out then just looking at some of the the matchups is going to be the play here so I do think if you can grab any of the the Panthers guys for this one week if you've got a head-to-head -head final I think that the the Panthers boys should be able to do really well so guys like Toto after a break are going to be awesome I really do I really don't mind someone like Farnworth I think he can score a try and probably hit close to a 70 average you know guys like Gagai um, and Mazu are going to be really, really strong as well. Um, and then Manu, you'd really definitely need to have him at 676 if you don't yet at this point. These are the guys that are going to be, be making a break this week, obviously there. Uh, the Knights have a, a tougher assignment against Sharkies this week. I think it'll be pretty close there as well. Uh, so yeah, you could go in on the Knights, guys. And I think Gagai would be the one that's probably the safest, obviously, of those two in Gags and, and Mazu there. I think uh, any of the Warriors outside backs like Chans or, or DWZ could be could be lovely as well. So looking at that, if you're, if you're looking at a, a Garrick replacement, it's going to work out well. In your 2RF, there's yes, not a lot of clear guys, is there, that are, that are going to be superstar options in there. Um, we had Ewan Aitken as, as a guy that you could plug in last week. If you're still looking for a cheaper fella, like you've got guys like Wong who are going to do a job there. You've got Cleese Haas who scored a nice try last week. So they're the cheaper options there that could do well. And, and obviously trying to get guys like Payne Haas or, or a Carrigan are going to work out good in this last couple of rounds. But yeah, that's just wanted to pop in for the update. Um, and then we'll um, we'll do another one next week. And then a bit of a review on, on how the squad went and, and some of our moves across the, the season. But a uh, big thanks to all you Supercoach guys for, for watching. And um, yeah, bigger and better next year. 1600th overall in our first year of, of making content around it and, and having that accountability. And uh, yeah, we got a bit unlucky in the second half. And I think that yeah, we can do really well next year uh, after learning a little bit more and, and, and going well from there. So thanks, guys, and uh, good luck in your last couple of rounds here.